Uh, I've been a junkie of fantasy football, fantasy baseball, you know, fantasy sports in general, just like numbers, crunching numbers, um, you know, trying to beat other people with those numbers, like, you know. You know, I did the fantasy sports from the time, you know, you have to have a notebook when, before the internet, you know. And so, I mean, my, my other passion, though, was television. And so, you know, sometime, sometime around the, the year of 2009, those kind of passions kind of merged in the show The League, you know, a TV show about fantasy football. And, um, you know, it was a marriage made in heaven for me. The person I identify in The League the most is Taco, because I kind of see him aloof. I kind of seem like... I'm not totally paying attention, but, you know, I win my league, so I'm a champion. Um, um, the other person I kind of identify with is Pete. Um, he wins most of the leagues, and he's kind of like, you know, because of his many championships and his superiority, he um, is kind of the prankster of the league. So um, I'm kind of the one that kind of, you know, has that confidence to like just kind of throw pranks, throw bad traits to people, and kind of like frazzle them. Some of the guys I play fantasy football with, um, you know, will uh, watch the, you know, the league together on Thursdays. And, um, you, know, like bef you know, like before the games, like we'll, we'll watch the episode of the league and we'll kind of compare each other like, oh, you're Taco or you're Pete or you're Kevin. I and mean, like, that's so Ruxin. Like, so I mean, yeah, so the league for me is like a very, like, you know, it's like a reflection of my life, you know, and I'm, I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad someone's telling our story. I think the league is uh, like the really authentic experience of, of at least my experience in fantasy sports because I mean I mean like it really does affect our daily lives and you see these characters like every day like their love of fantasy sports like you know in ridiculous ways are detrimenting like what they need to be doing like you know to be a responsible adult and that's I mean that's me and that's my friends that's what we do every day like you know like we should be doing these things but our fantasy sports are killing you know our life our ambition our you know our quest for happiness <laughs> but in the end of the day it's worth it.